SeaWorld has announced its CEO will be stepping down due to declining attendance at its parks. In addition, they will eliminate a number of other positions by layoffs. One suggested reason for the declining attendance is the release last year of the film Blackfish. Here's some video from that movie. It was a really exciting thing to do until everybody wanted to do it. What were they telling you you were going to do? Mm, capture orcas. They had aircraft, they had spotters, they had speedboats, they had bombs they were throwing in the water. They were lighting their bombs with acetylene torches in their boats and throwing them as fast as they could to herd the whales into coves. But the orcas had been caught before, and they knew what was going on, and they knew their young ones would be taken from them. So the adults without young went east into a cul-de-sac, and the boats followed them, thinking they were all going that way, while the mothers with babies went north. But the capture teams had aircraft, and they have to come up for air eventually, and when they did, the capture teams alerted the boats and said, Oh no, they're going north, the ones with babies. So the boats, the speed boats, caught them there and herded them in. And then they had fishing boats with seine nets that they would stretch across so none could leave and then they could just pick out the young ones. I was at Whale and Dolphin Stadium when he arrived and he's twice as large as the next animal in the facility. Yeah, he's right at about 12,000 pounds. That's, that's incredible. He looks fantastic. When Tillicum arrived at SeaWorld, he was attacked viciously, repeatedly, by Katina and others. In the wild, it's a very matriarchal society. Male whales are kept at the perimeter. In captivity, the animals are squeezed into very close proximity. Tillicum, the poor guy is so large, he couldn't get away because he just is not as mobile relative to the smaller and more agile females. And where was he going to run? There's no place to run. I think he spent a lot of time um, in isolation. And SeaWorld claims that, oh, no, he's always in with the other, with the females. But I mean, I, you know, from what I saw, he was mostly put with the females for breeding purposes, and he didn't spend a lot of time um, you know, with the other whales. It's for his own protection. That, you know, he gets beat up. And so by segregating him, it provides a physical barrier so the females can't kick his butt. 